Good evening. A 28-year-old Comox Valley man is embarrassed but otherwise okay after spending a stormy night lost near Mount Washington. Search crews spent over 15 hours looking for him and it was finally a helicopter pilot who spotted him on a trail after daybreak this morning. Dean Stoltz reports. The snowboarder went missing around noon on Friday out of bounds on the Nordic side of Mount Washington. Searchers from the resort finally calling in the Comox Valley ground search and rescue team just as dark was falling at 5 p.m. and as weather conditions were deteriorating. Pretty difficult conditions last night, very heavy snow, um, winds of 60, 70 k. Um, so we were pretty concerned about his condition. The weather was dangerous with almost 40 centimeters of snow falling overnight and for searchers and the missing, a high avalanche risk. A helicopter and 40 people from ground search and rescue teams up and down the island are here helping to look for the 28 year old man. So we were constantly in movement around the area that uh, we felt that he was in. We also had great support from 442 overnight dropping flares and illuminating the search area throughout the night. Then in a stroke of good luck, around 8.30 a.m. as a helicopter was returning to Mount Washington to rejoin the search, the pilot spots the missing man on a trail below, picks him up and brings him to safety. Uh, when he came off the helicopter, he was very thankful um, to see that over 40 searchers had shown up. Um, he seems to be in good cheer and is very happy to be warm and, uh, and safe. But he was also pretty embarrassed, not wanting to be seen by the media, insisting he be wrapped up in a tarp and hidden from the view of news cameras as he was put in a waiting ambulance. He was taken to hospital with mild hypothermia. The whole rescue happened as avalanche dangers are increasing because of the recent storms. We uh, rated the avalanche hazard in the alpine and a tree line at high. And the reason for that is that we are getting large quantities of snow, uh, as well as strong winds moving that snow. As the search was wrapping up, these three men were heading out to do some backcountry snowboarding and were prepared for the risks. I got avalanche beacon, got probe, and shovel in there and a snow saw. Like I believe I'm the kind of person who believes in you know play safe so you can play again another day. Picking your terrain and picking where you're going and, and using your, your forecast and the tools that you've got from you know, avalanche courses and stuff like that just to make safe decisions. We're not suggesting that people shouldn't be in the backcountry. It's, uh, it's a good time any time almost to be in the backcountry, but when the avalanche hazard is high, it means you need to stay out of avalanche terrain. Turns out the man who was rescued was not an avalanche terrain, but simply became lost when he left a marked trail.